My life on the X list. Hey, what's up, everyone? It's me, the Diva X, and it is now Thursday, the 15th, 2007, and it's about 10 17. And I, of course, had to come on here to leave you guys a little video, something um, to tell you guys that thank you guys for watching the videos, and thank you guys for subscribing, and thank you guys for pretty much just supporting the supporting the internet and I know we had our on the radio show we talked about the internet and um just the good things and the bad things of the internet and you know when I think about doing these blogs and stuff it's like yeah that's a great thing you know definitely a way to connect with people and um and like someone asked me why do you do your video blogs well because I think a lot of people um randomly and not necessarily a lot of people think they know me um know me as in like know who i mean they know who i am versus they know me and i think allowing these blogs video blogs is kind of giving the chance to kind of get to know me and um the you know stuff i talk about and things i how what i do and i mean my videos are just like you know my random stuff that I put together and, um, you know, like, just random. And it's really kind of a connection. So people can kind of maybe really get to know me, because I know a lot of people think I'm a bitch. Not really. Well, yes, really, but only when I need to be. So, I mean, that's kind of like a misconception right there, that I'm 24 hours a bitch. So, I wanted to share with you guys two very fun items that I've gotten in the past couple of weeks here, and I've talked about them before, I think. But this first one is um, Star Booty. There you go. Star Booty. It's a movie. Um, it's by it's by directed by Mike Ruiz, and it stars RuPaul, Candice Kane. Um, Mike Ruiz makes some cameos, and some random porn stars. Michael Lucas is um, Michael Lucas. Michael Lucas is in there, and a lot of frontal nudity, a lot of um, craziness. Um, will it win an Emmy? Probably not, but it's definitely a good watch if you guys are just hanging out with your friends and um, just want to hang out and watch some crazy ass movie. Star Booty is it. So, it's all available everywhere, I think. Well, not everywhere. Maybe you can't go to Target to get it. But, um, and they can get it online. I ordered mine from 10percent.com because I actually had a gift certificate from it. Um, I think on her website it tells you, like, um, Netflix carries it and, you know, so on and so forth. So, definitely seek it out. Go and watch it. I mean, you, you, I've watched it probably 20 times now. Just as rounded to 20. But yeah, I've watched it so many times now and it's ridiculous. But, and like, I don't know. It's just great. So watch it. Another thing I got was this video game. It's called Buzz for the PlayStation 2. And it comes with these little controllers. I don't have them with me. But it comes with these little controllers and it's a video game. It's a game show, actually. It's kind of like, there's different rounds and there's different things that, um, they ask you different random questions. I mean, awesome game. Like, I, the reason I bought it was because I was, um was asleep. <laughs> surprise, surprise. And I, I guess I left the TV on. So I woke up to a commercial with this little character guy. His name is Buzz. He's the game show host. Um, and it was like, I when I saw the commercial, I was like, I, in waking up to it, I'm like, I need to buy that game. Like, it looks so fun and so cool. And the thing is, there's, it's very recent. It's very, very up to date. Like, very now. Like, it's questions, you know, the music questions that it asks, it's very, it's Justin Timberlake questions, Paris Hilton questions, it's, it's very pop culture related. Um, not all the questions are pop culture, there's different, like, demographic, there's different categories, but it's, uh, amazing, like, it's really a fun game. It's, yeah. Um, so go get those things, go get these two wonderful little prod, or, mm, let's fix that. Let's do that. There you go. Go get them. Um, this one you can get at 
buzz you can get at Target. It's like $39, and it comes with little controllers. You don't have to buy anything extra. Just go get it, okay? It's hot. And that is about it. I'm so excited because, like, the concerts that I've... Are, I mean, I keep talking about them because it's like, ugh, they're almost coming, they're almost coming. Like, um, tonight, actually, the, the Victoria's Secret fashion show shoots in Los Angeles, and the Spice Girls are actually doing their first performance there, and it's actually going to air on the date that I'm actually going to see them, which is December 4th, and so it's just kind of crazy that I'm going to... I wanted to see both, but I definitely want to see them more in live. Um, so, December 4th, Spice Girls, San Jose, that's where we're going to be. And then the following, that weekend, I'll be seeing Tori Amos. Oh, I'm so excited. And if you guys read my blog, I was having a moment the other day when I was listening to Tori songs and just kind of preparing myself for her. And um, so, yeah, it was kind of interesting. So, I know, like, in Los Angeles right now, there's, like, a big writer's strike going on. Or, yeah, writer's strike. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love that, ladies and gentlemen. Um, going on and like everyone's getting involved and I'm kind of ex I'm I'm very excited to see that because you know I think sometimes when people go on strikes like not everybody supports the situation but it's good to see that a lot of people are backing them and and knowing that what what they're asking for is right you know and except for the people who are obviously not giving it to them so I think that's good and I, although I'm kind of sad because a lot of the shows that I watch are written by those people, and so production's kind of halted. I mean, I'm sure they shoot in advance, but if I don't know how long this is going to continue, and if it continues that long, I'm not going to be able to get to see my shows. Ugly Betty, Brothers and Sisters. I'm so sad. Boo-hoo. Right now, stop what you're doing, get out your calendar, get out your start your application to add something to your address your date book on December 1st 2007 well actually December 1st every year is World AIDS Day which is a very important day to remember those who are living and have passed with HIV and AIDS are of HIV and AIDS in Fresno we have an event we've had an event every year for the past I don't even know how long um, and it's varied at locations this year again I think this for the fourth year maybe fifth year we're having it at the tower theater at i want to say six <laughs> yeah six six to eight at the tower theater um it's a free event there's no cover there's no charge um it's completely free there's going to be some educational booth there's going to be um information there's going to be a program there's going to be a show there's entertainment it's and again it's all free ladies and gentlemen it's on a saturday so if you know if you have to work or whatever be off by six o'clock okay we ask for everyone to support i mean I, I say we because i've been on the committee for this um because i if, for those of you who don't know i used to work in the field of hiv and aids for a long time but anyways um so i've been on the committee for some time now and every year it has grown which i appreciate and i love um but i still don't think there's a large portion of the community probably the portion that may be watching these videos um, who rather sit at home and watch videos, um, go to these events. And I, I mean, it's an awesome event. It's even just to come support. I mean, if you know someone who has HIV or AIDS, if you know someone that has died from HIV and AIDS, I think it's good, even if you don't, just to show your support to those who do. Um, I've designed the flyer for them every year, and... Um, immediately, well, not immediately. After that, we'll be having an after-party type thing with a show from the Exotica show. Deja Vu will be hosting it for us and offer to give proceeds um, from the door to um, Health Education of West Care, which also provides um, pro education and prevention information and condoms to the MSM community and to other communities, but particularly that's why we're offering it to them. Um, so... Go check it out. Put it on your calendar. December 1st, Saturday, December 1st, Tower Theater, 6 p.m. And then at 9 p.m., the party at Deja Vu starts. And there will be a show at 11 p.m. featuring the peop the girls of Exotica and myself. So um, put that on your calendar. It's very important. Thank you, guys. See you later.